Hi Virgo, welcome to my channel. This is going to be your weekly love reading. Some very disturbing energy out here. I've only pre-shuffled, well I pre-shuffled and then I asked for the main energy of this reading and there was a whole lot out here for three cards that came out. And let me just say there's a karmic energy here, third party. This person could be a man, they could be a woman. There's a situation where I feel like someone here is a copycat. They are jealous and envious of your energy. And they, and I feel like, I think, I'm pretty sure this energy came out in a couple readings. I'll link the, um, that reading at the end of this video, okay? And maybe I'll drop it in the comments and pin it too, because this is feeling like that same energy where there was a third there was a third party in that reading you guys weren't really paying attention and you weren't involved with your person like you're not speaking to them currently like you've actually let go of this situation but this person's with a karmic and the karmic is really they're trying to figure out like they can't understand why your person loves you and can't let you go we, the world is in here in reverse by the way i'm just saying um it's almost like energy of you. <laughs> you inspire somebody that really wants to hate you, but low key, this person doesn't even know you. They know who you are. The karmic knows who you are, but you don't know this person personally. And they're triggered. They're like watching you or they see you somehow, some way. This person is really wants to, they, I believe this person tries to emulate your energy. And I don't even know why we're talking about this because, but this is the energy that's coming out. So we have to discuss it. We got to get it on the table and address the elephant in the room. Y'all, you know, we do. Like I said, this person, it could be a stranger to you. Like, I feel like you've never met this person face to face, but this person knows exactly who you are and what you mean to your masculine or what you mean to your feminine, by the way. But you, there's something really unique about you, you guys. Like, and this person is like, no matter how beautiful this person appears to be, no matter how much makeup they put on, no matter how, what kind of clothes they wear, what kind of car they drive or how much money they have in their pocket, they're realizing they can't be you and they can't satisfy this masculine or this feminine the same way that they, that you do, you did. Okay. And this person is extremely triggered by that. This is somebody who's very insecure. If they're beautiful on the outside, like they may have had some work done or like this person, you know, I don't know, but I feel like this person, this karmic covers themselves in either material things but who they are on the inside is somebody just trash is what is giving here this person is very insecure and this person is triggered by you extremely triggered by you you collective are in this energy of being unique being special being being like an earth angel you are somebody who inspires other people that people look up to and they know that your person isn't continues continues to be inspired by you on a daily basis i feel like i feel like low-key obsession energy here your person misses you mm -hmm. mm -mm -mm -mm. i'm telling you whenever your name comes up i feel like people are talking about you or somebody's talking about you this karmic is probably the one that's talking about you and bringing your name up and mentioning your name or like the karmic is watching your person whenever your name comes up or something similar that triggers your person to remember you or gives them some form of like uh realization or it could be like a sign or a synchronicity whatever it is it's triggering somebody to get really really emotional and it causes this person to feel very uncomfortable. And your energy also causes this person to feel very uncomfortable in their own skin. And they can't even like, they can't control these emotions. I feel like this person cannot, they don't even know who they are on the inside. It, this is crazy. All right, let's see. This is crazy ass karmic shit right here. So let's shuffle this deck and see what else is going on here. Show me what else is going on here. <laughs> ah, I feel like y'all are so unbothered by this. I do. 
about to show me this. Yeah, I listen. Your person, whoever ended up with this karmic, is having massive regrets right now because I feel like this person is going through it. This person's going through it. For some of y'all, this person could have a. Um, <sighs> they could have a gray a beard, a gray beard. Uh, they could have tattoos, like a full, a half of a sleeve here. Somebody could have a bald head. Yeah. <sighs> Show me more here about this situation, please. Happily single. This is you. I told you, you guys are not bothered by this situation. You're happily single. You're living your life. You're living your best life. Okay. You're dating people. Maybe some of you guys are on a dating site or dating app or whatever it is. Like you're stress free and you're career focused. You're hanging out with your friends, going on holiday, going on travel. You're happily single living your best life. Look at this. People are texting you, messaging you. You have plenty of people that are interested in you right now. But you see something? I feel like this is this your, your person who's constantly on their phone looking at what you're doing, wanting to know, trying to find out what is the collective doing. And this is that third party watching them. They know that this person wants to talk to you. And that they miss you. And that they're obsessed with... I feel like the both of them are obsessed with you. The both of them are obsessed with you. The, moving on, letting go, and loving you, and free. This is you. Happily single. Having had let go of this situation. You're free as a bird. <laughs> you are free as a bird. And somebody over here is in some form of shame and guilt. They know they were in the wrong. They know they made the wrong decision with this other person. I'm telling you. Hmm. Your person is drinking. They're in this devil, toxic, codependent energy right now. I'm telling you. Mm-hmm. Let's see here. Show me how this masculine is currently feeling, please. Thank you. The lovers in reverse. Like I said, somebody definitely made a bad decision in the nine of wands upright. It's like... <laughs> this is crazy. This is so crazy. Gemini energy here. Definitely made a wrong choice. This person, this person's life is like in a discord right now. And they are having massive regrets about it. There's an imbalance happening with this person. Like, it's King of Swords in reverse. You could have been dealing with somebody here who was cold to you. This is somebody here who lacks in integrity. This is somebody who wants, wanted to try to act like they were right in their ego and in their pride is what this is giving. Well, now, guess what? They're going through an ego death. They're being brought all the way down to here, below. Like, this person you thinks they are they are up here of this standard. They are really down here. Let me turn this down a little bit. This is somebody here who loves power, loves control. Hmm. And they're, they feel like they don't have that control anymore. You could be dealing with a Gemini. This could have been an, a Gemini Libra or an Aquarius here. Strong Gemini with the lovers in reverse. Show me what else here. Definitely a player energy. The three of cups. <sighs> could it even put you in a third party situation? It could be a cancer. This is somebody here who definitely wants to reconcile with you. They're heartbroken. You know, they... They know that you've released them and you've healed, but they're having a difficult time of letting you go. They feel like you let them go. They're trying to stay optimistic about it, but I, I, don't, I don't. King of coins in reverse. I'm telling you, this is somebody who was greedy, jealous, or they're jealous. Show me this king of coins in reverse. It could be a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn. Def definitely a, a stubborn energy here. Ten of Wands in reverse. Oof. Somebody's feeling real overwhelmed right now and burdened down. I'm telling you. Mm -hmm. Somebody's overwhelmed here. 
show me more. Four wands in reverse. That's that the disharmony. Disharmony. Whatever they're going, whoever else this person is with, they're experiencing disharmony. A lot of family problems. Hmm. They're experiencing a lot of discord in their life. Karma is what is given. Show me more. Nine of wands, ten of wands. Page of coins in reverse. I'm telling you. Oof. Show me more here. Somebody got some bad news about something. Hold on. What was that? The Empress just came out upright. Show me more about this Empress because I'm getting something else from this Empress. Show me more about this Empress. This Empress, please. The Empress. All right. Hold on a second. Let's see what came out here. Okay. And... Okay. Somebody got some bad news about this karmic, from this karmic. The bad news could have been that this karmic was pregnant. I believe that came out in, whose readings did we did to do today? Virgo had a pregnancy reading and Cap, no, was it? I think Capricorn had a pregnancy reading too. So go watch those if that resonates for you. Um, I feel like there's somebody here who either received some bad news about this karmic being pregnant. Um, but the thing is, whatever work they're putting into this is not working with this eight of pentacles in reverse here. It's like there's no growth in that situation. And somebody here um, is like juggling. Huh. Somebody's playing games here is what this is. And this world is back at the, the top of the deck in reverse. So this person hasn't learned a lesson. Show me more about this two of pentacles, please. Knight of Wands. This is not a good look. This empress could have... There is some shameless behavior happening with this empress. Taurus energy. Some shameless, somebody's ashamed here. Mm. Can you tell me more about this, please? All right. Page of swords in reverse. Yeah, gossip. Whatever that was said. Okay, guys, sorry about that. The camera cut out because somebody doesn't want me to tell you this. Apparently, I, that's what I feel like here. Um... You know, there there is somebody getting ready to do some traveling or come towards you and somebody wants to talk. I don't know what it is that they want to talk about. <laughs> I just feel like somebody's working really, really hard and they feel like nothing is working out for them in their life right now. Like somebody is lacking focus. Somebody feels lost. They don't know what's going on in their life right now. They're experiencing delays. They're experiencing karma. They're not happy. They're doing everything they can to try to level up and progress. And it just seems like whatever they're doing is not working. It's not, it's not, it's not working. And that's because they lied on you. They gossiped. And now somebody is learning a very rough karmic lesson and in this massive regret energy. Show me more here. Yeah, I'm telling you somebody's watching you. Remember I told you somebody's watching you here on their phone and this third party is watching them do this. Like they feel rejected because your their person and your person is too busy worried about what you have going on here because they they created a secret account and now they're looking to see what you've got going on and what you're doing in their phone. They're not paying this other person an atten attention. <laughs> this person has figured out 
this person's been lurking and watching them, everything that they're doing. And they see what this other person is doing and they're watching it. Show me more here. And for some of y'all, this person could be married because somebody's wearing a ring here. But you're happily single. Show me more here for the collector. This is you, collective, having a great life. Romance. You've been dating somebody new. You may have even moved on and you're happy. Or you're just dating multiple people and you feel free from the drama and the karma. Meanwhile, your person misses you and they're in this energy of doing everything they can to make a, uh, make a dollar out of 15 cents with this side hustle, social Hustle. With this side hustle energy here, they might be doing Uber, they might be doing um, Lyft or whatever it is. And not, not to say like there's anything wrong with that, but you know, somebody's doing something to save up some money. They might be going through a little bit of financial difficulty. Okay, I'm just saying. Because there's definitely an energy here of them being attached to, or this could be the both of them, in the energy of caring what matters. They feel like what matters the most is what's on the outside, when in, in fact, they are very insecure about themselves on the inside. They are. I'm telling you, somebody here, the bad news was that somebody got pregnant or did something. Maybe for some of y'all, somebody lied about being pregnant or someone said here that um, somebody's got to save some money. And look, I told you somebody's doing a side hustle, bad credit, debt, unemployed, secrets. Somebody here is holding a secret here. Remember we talked about somebody here being selfish and stubborn, definitely dealing with somebody who is selfish and stubborn and they care a lot about what the way something looks like. I feel like somebody's spending money they don't have. And after they swipe that card, guess what? Off to Uber. They could even be doing this to satisfy this karmic who's money hungry. I don't know. Show me more here, please. So somebody's in debt. They done fucked up their credit or they're unemployed and lost a damn job. And now they're under all this damn pressure, having this anxiety and feeling like they made the wrong decision here. And now they they feel like their life is trash. And now they're getting readings to find out what's going on in your life. Well, what is the collective doing here? And, and they, this person can barely even cope. They're drinking or a lot more than they need to. I'm telling you, when this person got this news, this person went to drinking, whatever they could grab to just cope. After hearing this, after he, I'm telling you, ashamed, embarrassed, guilty, feeling awful. This shit gets worse. It goes from worse to worse, sir. I don't even know if that's a word. For some of y'all, I'm telling you, somebody could have dealt with somebody they were working with here. I'm telling you, somebody got a toxic lifestyle. They drink way, way too much. Some This person is a phony, a trickster, an illusionist. Somebody has lied about something here. Somebody done lied. Lied, lied, lied. Oh my gosh. This is, I feel like the more I dive into this the more let's see how your person feels about you because i don't know what they got going on how does this person feel about my collective please they got a lot going on they feel like you're not talking to them you're holding back you had the strength to move away and move on okay you're holding back you don't have anything to say uh leo energy how does the collective feel about the collective they feel, yeah, you could be, you could be a fire sign in Aries Leo or a Sagittarius here. They feel like you're so strong and confident in yourself that you actually do have this, you feel secure in yourself. You have a self-esteem with this queen of wands and strength energy. This person is extremely insecure. Remember, they might look great on the outside, no matter how much makeup or name brand clothes that they put on or whatever they do to themselves on the outside. This is you being fully confident in, in your energy and in your power. <laughs> how do they feel about the collective? Yeah, you're fully in your power and in your energy. 
Yeah. Thank you, spirit. And you're guarding yourself. You're guarding yourself, protecting yourself. Seven of Wands. This masculine is waiting on you to put your guard down. They're hoping you're going to put your guard down here. I don't feel like you are. You're standing in this Queen of Wands and this strength energy. Honey, I don't see you backing down. I do not see you backing down, male or female. Yeah, I don't see you backing down, Hermit Energy Virgo. Mm -mm. You're quiet. You don't have anything to say because you they feel like you're quiet because you moved on a new love, Ace of Cups, or you're just simply loving yourself, happily single, living your best life, stress-free, setting goals, career focus, doing you, right, and feeling great about it. <laughs> Let's see. What else? Knight of Swords. Yeah, I'm telling you, this is them. <laughs> there goes that king of swords all right they feel like you quick they feel like you moved on too quick they feel like you moved on too quick and they know you're a great a great catch with this nine of pentacles i'm telling you man nine of pentacles is out here with a happily single card not only is your person like obsessively watching you and stalking you and triggered but because they feel like you moved on maybe you have maybe you haven't and then this other person is triggered by watching this other person obsessively watch you. Whether or not your person knows this person is doing that or not is another thing. But I don't even think they care, Collective, to be honest. Y'all hit the like button before you go and subscribe to the channel. Join us on Patreon, too. That's where we do Twin Flame readings, Divine Masculine readings, and Divine Feminine readings all the time for only $5 a month, you guys. And if you need a personal reading, that information is going to be below in the description box. What does this person want to say to my collective? I was selfish and stuck in my ego, and they were. They were definitely selfish and stuck in their ego. They wish you were, were there with them right now. So definitely energy of them missing you. And we both know that. They want to hold you um, and hug you and smell you. <laughs> I don't know where that came from, but it came out. Okay. It says you deserve better than them. Oh, my goodness. They know that if you moved on to somebody else, that that new person is better than them and is treating you right. And they feel ashamed and embarrassed and have massive regrets because they know what they did. They know what they did. I'm holding on to the memories of us. I'm holding on to the memories of us. Okay. What does this person want to say? I let people manipulate me into ghosting you. That's that gossip. See, if somebody had something to say about you collective, it wasn't true. It was gossip. It was people hating. It was basically haters. Now, I do believe this this other person, your masculine or your feminine, definitely got some bad news about something that was shocking. And unfortunately, that's a whole nother situation. We ain't going to talk about that today. But this person feels like if you moved on collective, that the, the new person's not going to compare. Well, no. They feel like <laughs> this karmic knows that they, that they don't compare to you. And honestly, that's why they're, they are so triggered here. It's literally this card says they will never compare to you. This, this karmic probably is the person that talked trash about you and tried to convince this person something negative about you look at this top of the deck i'm caught up in a karmic relationship and they are and confessions usher is playing right now <laughs> oh my gosh okay i gotta go y'all because this is too much i love y'all hit the like button subscribe to the channel i love you bye